Hi guys, Roxanne here from Tiny Home Living. Yes, I'm going outside to blow my dry, blow dry my hair today. Um, would you believe we have the hurricane winds back today, most of the night too. And again, I just can't believe we got three days in a row to spray paint and paint that barn with no wind. It's it, it's like a miracle, honestly. It's just unheard of, especially like the exact days you need. Last three days of the year. But uh, we have the hurricane winds today. We were going to um, put the insulation underneath the tiny house floor here today. Um, but Chris checked it. He tried a bit of adhesive on one corner and it melted the styrofoam. So back to the lumber yard to see what adhesive, the chemicals in it must have melted the styrofoam. So we'll have to go back to town and get um, the right kind of adhesive for styrofoam. He thought it was going to work, but not going to work. So we can't get that job done today. Underneath the tiny house might be the only place out of the wind today, but we are going to put the barn door back on and um, maybe go cut some deadfall. Not really sure. But uh, anyway, come along, watch what the old people are up to today and uh, get some work done. It looks like Gran Granny's pulling chainsaw duty today. But um, got to get something else done. Have to switch gears. Can't get the styrofoam done. Have to get something else done because we are running out of decent weather. I hate working in this wind. But um, at least the sun's out. You can layer, you know. Um, my poor cow, it rained really hard last night, which I don't think was in the forecast. I don't know how they can call it ackee weather. But she was just drenched. So, I don't know. She knows she can go in the barn. She chose not to, so... Um, I guess they have pretty thick hide and they're pretty uh, cold-blooded. They can take the weather a bit. So anyway, had a good visit with her this morning. And um, so we're going to go outside and try and get some other stuff done. I think we're going to pick the rest of the tomatoes too. But let's go get some work done. Time Enough time for John and uh, I got to get my hair dried too. Chris already came out and got the uh, saws all sharpened up and running good. So we'll be able to use them uh, today if we need to. Bella must think she's hiding out in the trees there. I'm not sure if you can see her. I can't see the camera screen because of the sun. But uh, maybe she thinks she's hiding, I'm not sure. She'll probably wander over here because every time we're around the barn, that's what she does. Darn camera. camera went off again. I don't know why it's doing that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So these are the things that Chris is going to put on the wall to um, catch the door. I'll go on the wall here so the door can slide in behind that when the wind's blowing like it is. Um, it's probably going to have to be shimmed out a bit, but um, with washers or something. But this will keep the door from flapping in the wind. These winds get strong enough. I think we were lucky to actually didn't jump off the track already. Now I've got a handle to pull this open and close. Uh, Chris is putting a handle on the inside of this door too so that I can pull it tight um, when I'm putting the bolt in. And then I think he's got one for the outside too. finger holes for. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll do the upside. Okay. It's nice how calm it feels in here with that. I mean, even we're going to put the solid styrofoam on the door as well. You can see how big the gaps are there. Um, but 
Oh my goodness, am I ever glad we got this place closed in. <sighs> and time for the weather. Um, I think he might still want to do the styrofoam, but I mean that's going to be easy to do in here now out of the wind. Um, and I mean that wind is just brutal today and you can you just you can hear it in here but you can't feel it at all even with some of the gaps and stuff so so happy to have this done oh my goodness Chris actually got this lawn chair for me for in the greenhouse and we've just brought it out here because um, I think I'm going to be doing a lot of sitting out here when Bella's baby is due so Chris has got this little thing because adjust it and then the door will run along the little oh, wheel. Oh, I didn't even check that. Right. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. No, just move it down if it didn't work. Mm. You really need to keep this door from flapping, that's for sure. I mean, the wind's bad today, but it's been a lot worse, that's for sure. It can get a lot worse. Well, that's perfect, because it's running pretty much straight up and down. Yeah, and when it goes over there, it'll be tight. Yeah. And then he's got one of those things for it to hook into on that side as well. And then he's going to set the stopper where this thing ends. Like so that the door stops just here and doesn't go past the wheel. So this corner is held in by the wheel and the other corner will be held in by another one of these things. But they have to be spray painted so that they're aesthetically pleasing to the designer. That's going to be perfect. Okay, That's exactly. Roll, just roll it and see if it'll come back. Okay. It doesn't have the part. Uh, okay, bring it back. I'm going to have to yeah, shim it out about a quarter. Yeah. Three eighths. Yeah. Now if I spray these. Of course, we have black spray paint already. Who doesn't? I'm going to put the sticker right on the front. It's only been, like we were working on the barn for three days. Look at the size of this chicken. My goodness. Like they're growing so fast at this stage. This is the fluffiest one around the head. That must have been the runt. Um, still don't, can't tell if they're going to be roosters or not. That one's crop is pretty, or not crop comb is pretty prominent. If this white one's a rooster, we're going to keep it. They're very pretty roosters. That's uh, WP's egg. But wow, is it ever big compared to the others? She lays very big eggs. So, how are you doing, Ruby? You're such a good mama. This is already her second clutch. She had ten, and then these four. Quite a few eggs didn't, uh, a couple of hers didn't um, make it. I should have helped them out of the shell, and I didn't know if I should intervene. Um, and I, this one, of course, thinks is little chicken's egg. It's got that black, those little black marks on the feathers. They look very much like um, Rhode Island Reds, but they're not. They have the black feathers around the neck. But if that's a rooster, the, the roosters that we um, got for meat birds that were terrible for meat birds um, were very pretty roosters. Like I said in a previous video, I wish I had just sold that batch of chickens as chickens, like a rooster with a half a dozen hens or something. Um, but yeah, I just can't believe, I haven't really even looked at them for about three days and I can't believe the difference in their growth and everything. <laughs> haven't collected the eggs yet, and yes, I have a little dark one and a little light one. 
There's, I think I need to clean these boxes out a bit. There's two in here, four in here, so six big and two little. Hmm. Still need to get daily eggs out of those new hens. We're only getting two out of four most days, sometimes three out of four. So we've decided we're going to pick the rest of the tomatoes. And I guess if there's any left, they're just going to have to go to seed, go to the ground, compost. Got so many. My goodness, we are going to need more boxes. This is crazy. Gonna have to take those screens off of there to get the rest of them. But uh, look how many tomatoes. I certainly don't want to waste the romas because those are the ones that are best for paste and sauce and everything. There's not as many um, beef steaks, but there are millions of romas still. Wow. So we pulled the plant right out of the ground. Look at this. We are going to need more boxes for sure. This is crazy. Basically taking the biggest and the reddest because there's just so much here. I don't know what to do with them all. I'm gonna be canning for the till the end of November. Tomatoes. Just can't believe it. Look at this plant. Most of them fell off when I um, took it out of the cage. Basically taking something that's a little bit orange and you can see the biggest ones. Lots of these are still on the vine here. That box is like three. This is the fourth plant. So many tomatoes. <laughs> I just can't believe it. Oh. Just want to get more boxes because we want more boxes for these green ones. My goodness. Just the ones we're taking. That makes me happy because these are the nicest ones for salsa and spaghetti sauce and all the stuff we want to make. Still tons here, but I'm not going to take the small ones. I could just cut them all in half, get as much as I can out of them, but there's just too much.
we took a few minutes and I have a really nice bin of leeks here. So I'm hoping to make my cheesy leek potato soup and I may have to can it because I don't know if I have enough room to even put stuff in the freezer now. So Chris is sniffing all of these big beefsteak plants off because they were tearing the cloth, the holes in the cloth too much. So this is going to be a lot of material to go into the compost. Chickens will be happy too. So now, <laughs> everywhere you look is tomatoes. At varying stages of ripeness, got to get to these pretty soon. These are ripest. More under here. Oh, I can't hardly lift that tray. So, got to get to work now. Now the hard part. That was hard enough, but holy moly, we've got a lot of work ahead of us. We were talking about going and making some lunch because we're hungry. <laughs> it's after four o'clock. And look at the dog was yipping and this thing's mooing. You know what? Her door to the barn is closed. That's what. Are you outraged again, sweetie? Is your door closed? We can't have that, can we? What's going on? The door's not supposed to be closed, is it? No. I'll come around and open it. The wind has died down a bit. Look at this cat. She's waiting at the door. Look at her. Bella. <laughs> she just kills me. Yes, you are so funny. You are such a funny girl. Mm -hmm. Put your salt lick here so it doesn't bang shut and scare ya. Come on, are you gonna come and oh I better close this too. And you'll be escaping through there, won't ya? She already tried going through there and getting some hay. Oh my goodness, and of course the chickens have to leave us some nice squishy hoops. And the other day when we were out here working, she was bumping this with her head and it came loose from there. So she is too smart. I think she'll catch on pretty quick. So I have to remind myself to put this in there to hold it in place. She's like, just get me my treats, woman. Just get me my treats, woman. Yes. Points at her bin with her nose. Look. She's like, come on already. Sniff. See if she points her head down there. <laughs> yep. She does it every time. Mm-hmm. Put them in the bin, woman. Oh, you're such a beautiful girl. But I'm hungry. I don't have time to visit today. I guess I better get some nuggets, though. I guess we're going to need a new bag of nuggets. Mm-hmm. We need another bag of nuggets, don't we, sweetie? Oh, my goodness. I am tired out. I think the wind makes us more tired, too. It has died down a bit, but still... That was a way bigger job than I expected, so I think it's going to be something easy like fettuccine. Why is the lighting doing that? <laughs> fettuccine Alfredo for supper? Oh, I've got some mushrooms and I love putting mushrooms in my fettuccine Alfredo. I make my own Alfredo sauce and uh, freeze it, so it's one of those why is my lighting doing that? Anybody know? Um, makes it an easy meal on days like this when we're so tired. <laughs> Missed lunch. Tired out. Granny didn't even get lunch. Not even a warmer glass, a glass of warm milk. But I think I'm gonna watch her finish her treats. Got the door open so she can stop being outraged over that and uh, go have supper. I'm not sure. I mean, I think I'm finished for the day. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm tired. I, I have, I'm still trying to catch up. Um, people are probably going to be noticing soon that the, the videos are out of sync with 
the time of year and I've I've just struggled to stay caught up since my surgery and um, and you know not just the surgery but again catching a cold or flu or whatever it was that we caught at the hospital and um, you know it really knocked us down we we had to keep working <laughs> You are such a funny girl. Oh, you got them all today. Good girl. But, you know, to try and play catch up when you're sick and sore and hurting and on medication, you know. Um, and I've got a terrible headache again today. I'm washing out my CPAP machine. I've got to get back on that now that my sinuses have finally cleared. Um, because, I, you know, I was awake till... I think five in the morning again so I've never slept well and trying to work like this you know when you have a headache you haven't slept not feeling well um, just so many things this year to deal with and um, hoping next year is better please 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 mm. but uh, next year we might have a baby Everybody on Facebook is posting their pictures of their new calves and it it makes me feel good because like I've said to a few of them I've worried since we got her that something might go wrong and so many people are reporting that they didn't even get to see the calf born because it's just born so quickly and even for first time mamas so um, these cows do have a really good reputation for birthing easily and um, I'm hoping that's the way it goes. So, anyway, that will just either end this year on a fantastic note or start next year on a fantastic note. Um, but I am so excited, and we've still got like three months to go. I can't stand the waiting. But yeah, I've got to get, I've got so much work to do on the computer to get all my files uploaded and organized and everything so that it makes it easier for me to get the videos done and I'm gonna have to skip over a lot of material that I have that's just the garden and the chickens and stuff because I mean everybody's seen that now and I I think people want to see the barn um, being built and the you know well we haven't worked on the tiny house in a long time because we've just been outside all, all year or in bed <laughs> you know me laid up so much um, but you know, I mean, Chris is five and a half years older than me, so he, the last week or so, he hasn't, just because we're really in a crunch now, but um, he needs a nap almost every day, and um, I try not to, because I've, I, I'm worried it'll make it even harder for me to sleep at night, but like I say, trying to do all this catch-up when you're not feeling well, and you're tired, and, um, you know, sometimes the weather cooperates, sometimes it doesn't. I just can't believe how lucky we've been to get this painting done and then this hurricane wind starts the next day. But I think I'm going to be done for today, guys. It's early in the day, but, you know, I have been trying to get up earlier. Um, mostly because she's waiting and, um, you know, I, I come and see her before I even have coffee or comb my hair or anything. Um, because I just think it's so important to have, for her to have that routine and that human contact and know that, that she can rely on us. And um, I want her to be really comfortable around me. Just got to get started on more halter training. That's going to be a really, really big deal to get her to cooperate that way. So far, I think building trust first is, is going to work in our favor. But um, I'm going to go put my feet up. I'm going to have supper and I am going to... I would say relax. I never really relax, but I'm going to get some work done on the computer so I can get videos um, done and sort of get caught up to present time again. Um, but I've really, really struggled with that since the surgery, for sure. But anyway, that's it for today, I think. Um, Chris has got these parts painted to hold the door in place, you know, uh, when the hurricane winds are blowing. The baby's had her treats, so she's happy. I think the dog, is, the dog has stopped yipping because Chris is inside. So we are done for the day. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and share this video with your family and friends. We'll see you next time.